Welcome to the Technology Channel, where we present you focused and summarized overview on the latest interesting technologies and top products from all over the world. Please make sure to subscribe and press the bell button to be notified with our new videos. Alright, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's going to blow your mind. Elon Musk gave the world a progress update on his brain machine interface startup Neuralink on Friday, showcasing a small implant that can read and transmit the neural activity of a pig. So I want to emphasize the, the purpose of Neuralink. Like, uh, what do we, what's our goal? Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implanted device. So you want to have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal, uh, but it solves uh, some, some important problem um, in your brain or spine. And the reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Now, these range from uh, minor to very severe but if you live long enough, you, you, everyone's going to basically have some kind of um, neurological disorder. The Neuralink implant still has yet to be tested in human beings, but it's part of a wave of brain-machine interface technologies that aim to address neurological diseases and injuries, and eventually directly link human brains to the Internet. While Musk had billed the event as a product demo, Neuralink has yet to undergo clinical trials in human beings, though the company announced it had been granted FDA breakthrough device status, which could speed efforts in humans. The Neuralink's wires connect to brain centers, while the device communicates wirelessly to a computer. While Musk said in 2019 that he would like to conduct clinical trials as early as this year, it's not clear when such experiments will actually occur. Work to use machines to read brain activity dates back to 1929 when Hans Berger recorded the first human electroencephalogram, EEG, which detects electrical activity in the brain. Does it actually work? And uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I call it like the, the Three Little Pigs demo, um, and uh, if our uh, animal handlers bring, bring out the pigs. The next generation of brain-computer interfaces BCIs, seek to translate brain signals into useful data or even use them to manipulate machines. It's a high-energy pig. Um, Alright, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head. So this Neuralink connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with a snout, uh, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Scientists will need to figure out how to implant connections in the brain that can last for a decade or longer, and that can function effectively outside a lab. Hope you enjoyed our video, and stay tuned for the coming ones.